What is up guys, it is Nick, we are back, and in today's video I'm going to be doing a noob's guide to the pearl shop, talking about all the different items that are in the pearl shop and going over those. I'm sorry, today got a little bit busier and a little bit messier than I would have liked, and I just didn't have time to record uh, an episode of this. I'm going to record it tonight, but obviously it wouldn't have gone out in a reasonable hour. It takes me about two to three hours to do those videos by the time I spend an hour uh, recording, an hour, an hour and a half recording, uh, an hour editing and rendering, and then 45 minutes to an hour prepping it to get ready to go uh, live for you guys. And so I just don't have time, otherwise it would be 3, 4 a.m. before you got that video, and I don't want to do that. So this was a video I was planning to do soon anyway, so I will do it now. So this is going to be the noob's guide to the pearl shop. So let's hop into this. Obviously you press start, and it is right here, the pearl shop. This is the cash shop, most of it completely optional. I know people like to label this game pay to win. In my honest opinion, I consider it pay to go fast or pay for convenience you don't have to buy anything in here and with almost all of it you can go to the central market go to pearl items and buy almost everything not everything but close to all the things especially the cosmetic things and this is see this is where this is where it's time to maybe sell the signature classic box for me get 20 million dollars it might be time to sell that uh but the, you know you can see the blessing of camas sylvia sealed book of combat mounts and mount accessories pets and pets accessories um and then you can search by single female and male outfit parts or male and female outfit sets so that's really nice but let's hop into the actual paid money section. So you can see, uh, if you want to know how many pearls you have, they're in the bottom left to buy pearls. Obviously, you go to the pearl box thing here, and it's going to pull up the PSN store or the Xbox store, and it will show you the price of the pearls. Um, pretty much for this, I suggest just buying however many you need. So if you want to buy an outfit, I would just suggest spending 40 bucks and picking up two of these and just getting that because it as you go up with a lot of games if you buy the hundred dollar pack you'll get bonus pearls and you'll get uh, extra pearls and you can actually see that it's worth it in black desert there's literally no scaling extra bonuses for more money spent so just spend the equivalent amount that you want to spend i mean there's no reason to spend anything extra the hot and new section is interesting it's kind of I don't think it's really set up the greatest because um, it doesn't really have... It has the new stuff, but right now on PlayStation we don't have a lot of new stuff. Um, the hot section is kind of makes sense, but it also is, is not the greatest. Event, this is good. You can see the event packs or the event stuff that uh, is available currently in the game. Right now we have this pack, uh, which comes with a hawk and a bunch of different random stuff for $40. We have the sale stuff. This is the rookie pack. It comes with the gray moon cat and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, and you can see that that's discounted. And then limited, that's kind of its own thing that I don't really ever look at. Rookie stuff is the stuff that they suggest that you pick up as a rookie. I don't really do that. I'll go over the stuff that I suggest as we get to it. Skilled, kind of the same thing, stuff that they suggest. Travel aids, value pack. You're going to want a value pack. It's kind of really important. You can go some days without it um, because uh, the 30% marketplace sales is what you really need. Uh, the inventory and storage slot expansions, plus 16 for having it active is really nice, and the bonus XP for combat skill, life, and mount is also very important, and the weight limit will become more important the farther that you go. The nice thing is, is it it's applied to all of your characters, um, and so you don't have to buy it on multiple things. The unlimited use of the Merv Paladin Beauty Salon, that's kind of up to you if you care about that. Um, I kind of do, but this, same as with buying pearls, I actually personally would suggest buying three 30 days opposed to a 90 day, because then you can activate them when you need them so say i activated it today and in 30 days i'm not on 
and maybe I get on the next day and all I do is do a quick grinding session, nothing too important, and then I get off. And then the next day I get on and I quest a little bit, and that's all I do and I get off. Well, then I can activate it on the fourth day when I go on a serious grind uh, kind of spree, and I save myself four day of value pack that I didn't need it. And then when that 30 days is up, maybe I'm off for a whole entire week. And then I get back on and I play a day and then I skip and then I want to sell some stuff on the marketplace. So then I activate my other one. And so it saves you days. It makes more sense. You don't get any bonus for choosing the 90 day over the 30 day. So in my opinion, you should just get the 30 day. It makes more sense. Other packs, we already went over the premium and the rookie packs. Um, other packs will filter their way into the store uh, over time. Uh, temporary buffs. The skill guide stuff, this is stuff you'll need if you're level 56 and above. There's also a quest for skill reset later on that they'll add. I don't think it's in the game yet, but they'll add it later on. Uh, but this will allow you to um, do skill add-ons later on, pretty much. I mean, it pretty much just says what it what it says. Uh, Blessing of Camasilvia, or Camasilv and Sealed Book of Combat. Uh, the Sealed Book of Combat is kind of nice, but you do get a lot of 100% XP scrolls, so that's kind of a buy it when you need it kind of thing. I, on Xbox, I don't have one of these activated because I have an absolute crap ton of 100% uh, XP scrolls, so I don't really need it, uh, but it kind of just depends if you need it. The drop rate is really nice, but once again, I have a ton of 100% drop rates on Xbox, so I don't need Blessing and Camasilvia, or Camasilv. I keep saying Camasilvia because that's what came out on it. But point is, is I don't need this stuff because I have the scroll, so it's kind of based on need whether or not you buy those. Maids, I haven't really done too much with maids. I need to do a little bit more with maids, but you can summon them from anywhere and they can move one item to and from the central market, which is very nice. I don't know how many maids you can have active. That's one thing I don't actually know. Um, and some of them are obviously different. There's the transaction maids, which those are the central market, and there's storage maids uh, that can do stuff from the storage they have 20 minute cooldowns which isn't too bad the thing with the storage maid that you can do that's really nice is if you're farming and you get like heavy piece of armor that you know you're gonna want to sell and keep like a plus 15 grunel or something like that you can deposit it straight there i have not done a whole lot with maids and i haven't had to so i can't really tell you that they're 100 percent necessary but they are very nice and helpful uh but for 12 dollars, you kind of have to weigh are they worth it to you or not because I haven't done anything with them, and I haven't really felt like I missed out not having them yet, but kind of up to you. Moving on to loyalty. Loyalty is kind of meh. I don't really love the loyalty stuff they have. I wish they had more exclusive loyalty stuff. If I had to suggest doing anything, as much as I don't love the outfits in the loyalty, I would suggest saving for an outfit in the loyalty. Um... The storage is all right, but you can unlock that for free. Um, well, it's not for free. You can unlock it for contribution points, and I think it's just contrib contribution points and a little bit of silver. So, I don't know. That's not really worth it to me. The Blessing of Camasilv, I guess, but it's only for one day. The Good Feed, I guess, is, is decent. Same with the Thick Fishing Rod, but really, for me... I'm just saving up for... I'm just going to probably save up for these. The Blackstone Armor and Weapon is also alright, but there's a daily limit of one, so it's like, eh, eh, how worth it is that? I'll probably just end up saving up for uh, a free armor set for the Warrior, and I'll throw it on here. I don't love this, obviously, but hey, it's something to put on, and, and why the heck not? It takes forever to save up that many loyalty points, but uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do, I think. Uh, moving on to weight, this is probably the most important thing if you're going to buy something. Um, this and inventory expansion, we'll get into that in a second. You can buy all four of these for an increase of, what is that, 500 weight limit, which is absolutely huge because when you start farming later in the game, you're going to be picking up stuff and Everything has weight. Armor has crazy high weight. So does weapons. So if you ever want to take them back and sell them, 
you're going to have to have some weight, and you're going to have it anyway, even if you take a wagon or a horse to store stuff on. Uh, one of the things I'll talk about in my Noob's Guide to Farming is that you can be super overweight and still ride your horse back to town at normal speeds. So that's really nice. But plus 500 weight, this is probably one of the main things I would tell you to invest in. Um, it costs you only, well, not only, but it costs you $36.50, I think, if I did my math correct there. Uh, which, you know, is a hefty price for weight limit in a video game. But if you're going to spend money on this video game, this is kind of what I su suggest. It is only for the one character. It's not overall spread over all your characters. So do keep that in mind. Um, make sure and do that on your main account if you're going to do it. Inventory expansion, same way. Really helpful. Um, it's going to expand them for just one character. This is fairly cheaper. Um, what is that? 2005 2, or 2005 2250 24 $28.50 $28 um i would probably it just depends on what you're gonna do if you're willing to spend a bunch of money i suggest doing this on your afk fishing account which i'll be going over that in a later video but and i'll talk about this again but the 16 inventory expansion slots is the one you want to pick up first it's the best bang for your buck and i would just yeah pick that up uh if you're gonna pick any of those up moving on to consumables i don't really suggest buying these they're fine um if you're bad karma i guess to your terror of repentance is okay um extract crystals with the dark spirit is, is decent but Unless you're extracting a really expensive crystal, I don't think it's worth it. But if you extract a really expensive crystal for two bucks, it's probably worth it. Um, I don't really think Tears of the Wind is that important. It's cheap. I mean, all of this is cheap. Uh, but yeah, Artisan's Memory is probably the one thing out of all of this that I would say has a reasonable, um, Le fair price and is pretty helpful it's recovering the max durability by four times when recovering a gear items max durability this is really helpful when you're trying to rank stuff up uh or enhance it and um you're dealing with more expensive items it's really nice but uh that's about the only thing there that, that i would suggest slot expansions i really wouldn't suggest anything here except for the lodge workers lodging but you can do that kind of on your own through the towns you can have plenty of worker lodging so i don't really think that's that big of a deal i already talked about the storage you can go through the storage on your own and kind of within the nodes do that which i'll talk about that more when we get to node management the character expansion slot this is one that i would suggest picking up eventually uh, i would wait until you actually need it or until a seventh character is released and you want to play on that character um i have it all maxed out on xbox which i kind of regret doing but i do um they do run some sales and promos and deals on character slot expansions when they release new characters so do keep that in mind that you may not have to ever pick that up for full price the stable slot expansions are fine but i don't really i haven't ever needed stable slot expansions yet so once again with everything this is just my personal opinion guild name change coupon that could be helpful but i you know not a lot of you will have to deal with that family name and character name change coupons uh those are pretty self-explanatory and pretty self-explanatory on when and if you want to pick those up uh outfits so going over the outfits i usually try to sort them by each class so we'll go to sort because we all know i love my sort on xbox if you want to make money selling stuff outfits is the way to go so if you wanted to blow money on this to quote unquote pay to win then you would want to buy outfits and sell them because they have the best value later on there will be outfits that come out that are 3400 pearls and they'll sell for like 55 and a half million you'll have no problem selling these people always have outfits on their wish list that they're wanting to pick up so you never really have to worry about that costumes these are just based on pretty much if you want to do i mean it changes the appearance of your character but it's kind of just based on if you need the effect bonuses or not uh, i've never bought one so 
take it for what it is. Underwear, this is kind of helpful uh, because it gives you plus one luck. It's just kind of depending, do you want to spend 700 for a pair of underwear? I mean, they're all like that. It's all plus one luck. Um, and so, yeah, it's pretty much, do you want to spend money on underwear in a game? Piercings, piercings don't really have any effects. Glasses do, though. Um, glasses give you extra knowledge. You can always put on a pair of glasses and then turn them off from view if you don't like the way the glasses look. Um, I guess, and then this ear cuff has plus five knowledge uh, to monsters when you kill them. But most of these things don't have any effect. Moving on, furniture and all of that different stuff. I will have a house video sometime in the future um, going over all that. That'll be back on Xbox. But there's all these different props and stuff for your house. This is kind of just for fun if you want to have some fun and, and have your house all decorated. You can do a lot of some of the decorating of the house and all of that different stuff for free. But a lot of the good looking stuff is locked behind a paywall. So, you know, it, it, it is what it is. Pay for, can, pay for, it's like a house is like a, I don't know, having a pretty indoor part of your house is like a, convenient thing it's not like a necessary thing horse gear ship gear wagons which there's nothing there right now and miscellaneous for horses and houses and all of, or horses and ships and all of that different stuff is here uh pretty much everything is just what it says it is not a whole lot of stuff that i would buy here the horse breeding stuff is kind of what the only thing that I would buy here. Mount skill change and mount skill training coupons are all right. Um, but this, those are the only four things I'd really buy. Moving on, pets. If you don't have four pets, really if you don't have five pets, because eventually we'll get five pets, but I would wait, wait. Don't buy your fifth pet yet. For some reason, I can't get my Skyhawk, so technically I should have five. But point is, is don't buy your fifth pet yet there may be a pet that comes out later that you absolutely love um the one cool thing is you can have all the pets that aren't currently following you around in game they can chill out in your house which i really like uh but other than that there's not a point to have like five bajillion pets because you can only have five out at a time beauty to wrap it up we have the merv palette what the merv palette does is lets you dye your crap freely dye your armor dye all that stuff freely Pretty much. You'll get that with the, um, uh, the, the the value pack. So this is 30 days of Mervs for 1,000. Don't ever buy this. Just buy the value pack or whatever. What's it under? Value pack. Just buy this. It's 1,500. It gives you unlimited uses of the Merv palette for 30 days. Just just buy that. Please do not buy just the Merv palette. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, appearance change coupons. These are kind of nice. Um but it's kind of uh, i'll have to probably i don't know i'll probably have to do it on my characters because i rushed to get the name and for me for eight dollars for eight dollars it was worth it for my for my uh for my characters to be able to change to get the name to get the name siri was very was important to me on here it's the name i wanted and so consequently i didn't customize how she looked dies here are all the dies if you want obviously that's pretty self-explanatory so that's gonna do it for the pearl shop guide um if you have any questions let me know um i tried to cover what i thought was best and all of that different stuff if you want like it weighted like what i would rank as of importance to get off of there it would be pets first second would be I think second would be inventory expansion. Third would be weight limit. But I wouldn't go all in on the inventory. I would kind of go... I would go pet, big inventory, little or big weight limit. Then you can go with the rest of the weight and the inventory. But I, would, I wouldn't go all inventory and then all weight if you were doing them over a period of time. And then the other thing that I would suggest is maybe maybe an outfit because we all uh, at least for me i like to have a character I, that is aesthetically pleasing that i like the outfit and unfortunately you know they get me to buy outfits because i like that type of stuff um and so 
Probably an outfit would be the next thing that I would suggest. Make your character look cool. They also have their benefits. I mean, like, an outfit does have... Com it gives you bonus combat experience. Oh my gosh, can I bring it back up real quick before we end the video? They have, like, a little bit of benefit. They... If it'll show me. They give you plus 10% combat experience, plus 10% skill XP experience for 6 parts, and for 8 parts, uh, minus 10% weapon durability consumption on death. So, that's kind of that's kind of what it is. But uh, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Check back tomorrow. We'll have a Ranger video uh, going over the changes to that series, as well as I will have a video of this, which I think will be back to normal. And then we'll go ahead and go from there uh, with uh, other videos of Noob Guide intertwined with the actual official main Noob's Guide video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed I know this video actually turned out a little bit longer than I expected. I will probably be a late video upload. Sorry about that, guys. Um, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.